Hello students, welcome to EPG Part Shala. I am Vinodini Kapoor from Chandigarh and I'm teaching in the Faculty of Management. Today, we are going to study about the module Developing Management Information Systems under the paper Management Information System. After completing this module, students will be in a position to understand the concept of development of MIS, understand the role that is played by management information systems, understand different steps that are involved in the MIS development process, list various considerations in the developing MIS process, and list various challenges in MIS development. Management information systems is an integrated user machine system for providing information to support operations, management, and decision-making function in an organization. The system utilizes computers, manual procedures, models for analysis, planning, control, and decision-making, and a database. Now, this is very well stated by David Olson. An information system is an organization that works like the central nervous system in the human body, connecting all the organizational components together and facilitating better operations and survival in a competitive landscape. Organizations accumulate operational data that is further processed to yield tactical information. It is the business acumen of the organization and the technical experts who implement information systems as to how they utilize this information to their competitive advantage. Information system in organizations thus provide information support for decision making at various hierarchical levels in the organization. Information systems encompass transaction processing systems, management information systems, decision support systems, and strategic information systems. System development is the entire set of activities needed to construct an information system solution to a business problem or opportunity. Developing management information systems starts with gaining all perspective on what a firm aims to achieve and how it will do so. System development is the entire set of activities that are needed to construct an information system solution to a business problem or an opportunity. The mission statement states what the organization ideally wants to become at some uh, future point in time. A new information system is built in order to resolve some particular type of problem or set of problems the organization perceives that it is facing. The problem may be the one in which managers and employees realize that the organization is not performing as expected or that the organization should take advantage of new opportunities to perform more successfully. The activities that go into producing an information system solution to an organizational problem or opportunity are called system development. Now these activities consist of system analysis, system design, programming, testing, conversion, production, and further maintenance. Role of Management Information Systems in Organizations Management Information Systems is an idea associated with men, machines, marketing, and methods for collecting information from the internal and external sources and processing this for facilitating the process of decision making of the business. 
Hence, it requires intricate planning across functional departments to establish their need and operational requirement. The MIS satisfies multiple needs of the organization across the different functional departments through a variety of systems such as database query system, analysis system, modeling system, and decision support system. MIS supports strategic planning, management control, operational control, and transaction processing. It answers complex queries on data pertaining to the transaction, status of records, and reference on a variety of documents. MIS yields data relevant for various hierarchical levels of the organization. The junior management personnel are facilitated by operational data for planning, scheduling, and control and help them further in decision making at the operational level. MIS systems aid middle management in short term planning, target setting, and controlling the business function at the top level management in goal setting, strategic planning, and evolving the business plans. A good MIS supports the management of cross functional departments like marketing, finance, production, and personnel. The tracking and monitoring of projects becomes easy. The functional managers are informed about the progress, achievements, and shortfalls in the activity and the targets. The manager keeps alert by providing certain information indicating and probable trends in the various aspects of business. This helps in forecasting and long-term perspective planning. Bulk of the clerical work is transferred to the computerized system, relieving the human mind for better work. A lot of manpower is engaged in routine operational activity in the organization. 70% of the time is spent in recording, searching, processing and communicating. Thus, MIS has a direct impact on this overhead. It creates information based on working culture in the organization. The Management Information System Development Process The ever-increasing complexities and changing business dynamics require a properly planned, analyzed, designed and maintained MIS which fulfills the ultimate goal of timely, reliable and useful information to enable the management to take prompt and relational decisions. An MIS should be flexible enough to deal with the changing information needs of the organization. It should act as an open system continuously interacting with the business environment which a built-in mechanism to provide the desired information. An MIS, however, not adequately planned, designed or implemented may provide inaccurate, irrelevant or obsolete information which may render irrelevant to the organization. Organizations cannot operate and grow without properly planned, developed and maintained management information systems. They enable even the smaller organizations to more than offset the economies of scale enjoyed by their bigger competitors and thus helping in provide a competitive edge over the other organizations. Following steps are involved in the development of an appropriate management information system for a business organization. Firstly, defining and analyzing various types of decisions made in the organization. The management information system designers need to be thoroughly analyzing the existing decisions making system of the organization. 
This requires a study of different levels of decision makers and the priorities of these decision makers. The purpose of this is to ensure the collection, analysis and dissemination of right information for different decision makers in the organization. Cost and Benefit Analysis MIS of the organization should be designed in such a manner that the benefits outweigh the cost of collecting, analyzing and presenting information. Depending upon the size of the organization and the scale of the operation, alternative means of providing information for managerial decision making should be studied and evaluated in terms of their cost and benefits. An effective management information system not only evaluates information for presentation but also eliminates unnecessary data. The MIS should summarize and condense information so that it can easily absorb and used for decision making. Pre testing of the systems and training of operators. Management information systems should be pre tested before it is put to use. If the system is not pre tested, then problems are likely to arise and changes in the system at that particular time may prove to be very expensive and time consuming. It's also very essential that proper training to the managers should be disseminated to understand the system so that they can make proper use of the system. Proper planning for storage of information. Proper arrangement should be made for storage of information as all information is to be stored in disaggregated files. New entries should be added to the existing data in a given category as it is received. Different decision makers with similar information needs should be identified so that they can be grouped together for dissemination of information. This will avoid duplication of data. Mechanism for gathering and processing data. This requires determination of steps for the purpose of collecting, storing, sorting, evaluating, transmitting and receiving information. A system of controls should also be developed so as to identify and correct any deficiency that might occur in the system. Dissemination of information. Proper arrangement should be made for the dissemination of information at the right time to various decision makers. Any delay in this regard can only be a hindrance to the business decision making. It is essential to segregate who is liable to access what kind of information in an organization. Proper formats should be designed for the dissemination of information to various decision makers with regard to their information needs. Review of MIS at periodical intervals. Functioning of the MIS should be reviewed at periodic intervals to help in identifying deficiencies in the existing system and making appropriate changes to overcome such deficiencies. Scalability and robustness are essential factors to be considered while designing hardware and software requirements. As business grows, existing capacity should be upgraded on the current system, avoiding investment from scratch. As we see the diagram for the online hospital management process, it is seen that a server has database of all departments, patients and employees. There is an operator who adds visit details of all particular patients. The doctor is further able to view previous visit details of referred patients. The administrator is largely responsible to add, delete, update, view, visit details of each of the patients. The patient is also able to log in to view his previous visit details. The chief medical officer can view 
any previous visit of any of the patient that he wants to search. Now let's discuss a case of development of online hospital management information system. The objective of the online hospital management system is to automate and computerize whole working of hospitals. The user first adds information into the database regarding various departments, designations, states, districts, patient categories, bed categories, etc. using the master forms. Then, details of various employees working in the hospital can be added. Eventually, patients can be registered, transferred and discharged. Their bills are computed including bed charges, doctor charges and other charges. When a patient visits the hospital, he is assigned a certain card number which is used to manage his visits to the hospital. The e-card relieves the patients from carrying their details with them by providing online access. It might happen that the patient faces some problem when he is out of the city and has no treatment reports with him. In that particular case, if he has the card number, he can visit any doctor in that particular city and show his treatment history by accessing the online card by just entering the card number and the password. He is exempted from the hassle of undergoing all the tests again and can have immediate treatment. Online access to the software allows the doctor to review reports and visit details of patients even by sitting at home. Thus, the e-card system can be beneficial for both the patient and the doctor. The system is to secure as a user can modify the information only after proper authentication. It provides a big leap forward over the existing laborious and inefficient system of hospital management. Chances of error are also eliminated to a large extent. Computerization and automation of the whole system helps an easy and fast access to the required information. The system is highly user-friendly as appropriate messages are provided to guide the user logged in. Although the project is complete in itself, but as there is always a future scope for improvement, the same applies to this software. The provision of getting appointment from the doctor through the internet, that is, the online appointment facility can also be added. The doctor could view the request from several patients and accordingly give the appointment if possible. Further, mobile application can be implemented to allow the patient to view their previous visit details and get appointment from doctors through mobiles. Posting of employees from one hospital to the other can also be managed online. Further, doctors can be given the provision to post their articles on the website of the hospital. Now we come to the key considerations in developing successful management information systems. Management information systems are powerful tools that can help to make valid decisions and discover trends in the data the company generates. There are critical areas that the organizations should keep in mind before designing and developing management information system infrastructure. Firstly, system goals. This refers to analyze the current system. Prima facie, it is essential to assess the needs of your organization to determine exactly what type of information is required to aid in the decision-making process. Some management information systems only track fundamental company data and display it on the screen and in reports. Others also have trend analysis capabilities and can run scenarios to help you with decisions. Secondly, maintenance. Determining who uses each component of the information system is very essential. Surveying the employees to find out who uses the management information system and what type of information 
they need to have access to. The right management information system of a company can use this data in either its current form or import it from a standard format. In this way, the data in the system is always the same data as the company working level is using and generating. The usage. Usability is again a key issue in MIS. Management information systems fail when their user interface is very complicated or it's too hard to get useful results or the results are not in a useful format when the system generates them. Before selecting a system, it is very essential to check for these issues. The reports have to be easy to understand and relevant for your organization. Users have to be able to generate the reports they want with the minimum of training and with little effort. Fourthly, changes. An important characteristic of management information system is the ability to adapt to changes in the company. The available information may change, the reports may vary, and often the person using the system changes. The system you put in place has to allow for revisions in the input, the output, either easily enough for your own IT staff or at agreed rates by the supplier. There has to be a simple method for adding and deleting user accounts that you can handle internally. Now, to understand what are the key considerations in developing successful management information systems, we'll take the example of a supporting case. Here, we discuss the leased application and how they help product development meet certain milestones. We take the scenario of a small West Coast manufacturer who is expecting big benefits if the promise of new online workflow software pans out. The startup fuel cell developer Metallic Power Incorporation has begun testing a design sharing application from bomb.com incorporation. Now to avoid mistakes like this, the one that happened about a year ago, the company nearly missed a deadline because the supplier hadn't seen the data for an updated design drawing of the zinc air fuel cell frame metallic in developing and sent a part built on the wrong specifications. The Carlsberg, California manufacturer, which is designing the zinc air fuel cell for computer power backup and to replace the conventional engine batteries in the electrical vehicles, says, staying on schedule builds investor confidence. If we don't make a milestone, the investors don't look so highly at us says metallic design engineer, Brett Lobry. The parts mistakes wasn't serious, Lobry says. But it could have been worse if the company were closer to the 2003 deadline for shipping its very first zinc air fuel cell product. It could have meant making a milestone or not. And at this point in our lives, completing milestones is very important, he says. Last month, Metallic started using BOMB's hosted supplier access application, which lets the company lease bill of material management software. This bill of material contains the data associated with a component offered to suppliers for the particular bid. The application lets manufacturers share product development information with suppliers, who will be able to resolve to the information online. Metallic uploads to its design 
of plastic or metal parts for its backup systems to bomb. Users can send an email that delivers their supplier a link to bomb's web page where these particular files are viewed. I don't have to fill a form or fax a form or a separate email, Lobry says. If I make a change to that particular part, I can update it and then inform them that there's been a change. Metallic Power pays $100 per seat monthly or $1,000 per seat annually for that particular service. There's no installation charge since the users only need a web browser to upload and view files. We now discuss challenges in developing management information systems. If a company that sells goods online has its website down due to software failure and security issue, the fault in the software can make the company lose thousands of dollars in revenue. Robustness and security of the system are equally important to ensure system confidentiality, integrity and availability. The two main challenges facing today are operational and technical challenges. These challenges must be addressed from the very beginning to ensure software projects do not fail. We firstly discuss the various operational challenges. Bad communication, lack of planning and project requirement understanding from point of view of various stakeholders such as the customer, the organizational need for the project, unclear requirements. When requirements are not clearly identified, it only leads to change of requirements during middle of the project which will increase project delivery schedules. Prior requirement planning is necessary else it will lead to added labor and project cost, thus making the project less profitable and takes away interest from stakeholders. Delayed project delivery. Project management is key to timely task completion and closure, else project milestones would be pushed back and potential software with less functionality than what agreed upon in the beginning agreement with the client. Market pressure. Another important aspect is the rapid development of software to meet the ever-changing market demands. Let's come to the technical challenges now. These determine the true system functionality, reliability and availability. Information system development challenges can be listed as firstly, knowing the technical needs. It's all about understanding programming languages, the frameworks, the system and the algorithm needed for a particular information system to be successful. An important factor today is making sure that your web-based information system works on all browsers and devices. It's also about your developer programming expertise and using that to your own advantage. Right design patterns. Identifying the right design patterns for your information system software and establishing an actual design review. Quality evaluation criteria and design management is something that is highly neglected today because of the time and the effort it takes. Quality control. Building quality and maintainable code that can scale to multiple systems to serve millions and millions of customers is a key challenge today if addressed can save the company and put them ahead of their competition. Security Security is of paramount importance in today's cyberspace to maintain confidentiality, 
and integrity. Lastly, debugging. It is necessary to keep fixing logical errors. Debugging the infinite loops or dividing by zero bugs in the code. So students, now let us summarize what we have learned here. Management information systems make it possible for the organization to get the right information to the right people at the right time in the right form by enhancing the interaction between the organization's people. Now in addition to this, MIS allows information to move between departments instantly. This reduces the need for face-to-face -face communication among employees, thus increasing the responsiveness of the organization. It provides reliable, complete, accessible and understandable information in a timely manner to the users of the system. Planning and developing large information systems is akin to a multi-level chess game. It's very demanding task for even the most experienced professionals. Information systems tend to grow in complexity and as they grow in size. System development is the entire set of activities that are needed to construct an information system solution to a business problem or an opportunity. The plan of MIS should be concurrent to the business plan of the organization. The information needs of the implementation of the business plan should find a place in MIS. The information needs are traced to the source data and the system in the organization which generates such data. The plan of development of MIS is linked with the steps of the implementation in a business development plan. The system of information generation is so planned that strategic information is provided for the strategic planning, control information is provided for a short-term planning and execution. Thank you.